Oh, he's got, got, it. got it! On the figure eight! There we go, here we go. Oh! oh. What's up everybody? It's your host here, Oliver Nye, on the Big Bass Dreams channel. Most of you guys know my man, Mr. Trevor Tucker. If you guys aren't already, subscribe to him on YouTube. He's got a, a bunch of dope stuff coming out of Iowa. Big bait stuff, regular bait stuff, some musky stuff hopefully. Uh, but subscribe to my channel while you're at it. And we are doing something special today. We are chasing big musky dreams. All day. That's what's up, man. We are in a new body of water here for Trevor. I haven't been here in at least two years. Never been. How sick is this place though, huh? It's nice, man. Like all the lakes up here though. Yep, yep. We are uh, currently in Northern Wisconsin, uh, arguably one of the musky capitals of the world because a lot of people claim that, apparently. But uh, we've got a nice overcast day. Uh, should be a decent window of opportunity here to encounter a big toothy one. Uh, I am solely responsible for knocking off his personal best muskie at the net last season in the dark. So hopefully we've learned a couple things since then. And uh, I don't jack this up. Um, but it's looking no, good, man. We can't have two. No, we can't do two in a row. I'm due for something right, hopefully. But uh, it looks good out here. We've got some tannic looking water, a little darkness, a little color to it. Hopefully that'll increase our odds of encountering and fooling one of these elusive trophies but uh, small, we just hit the surface right there yeah, they're smallmouth too so but we came packing packing some heat big baits thick lines heavy weights and you guys might have seen some of the videos from last year and the year prior with that bad boy so hopefully we get a, another big angry predator to play with him um, in the meantime look forward to uh, some contribution from this man here on the big bass dreams channel because he's living and chasing the dream himself now been fun to watch so gonna get better yeah always gonna get, get better. better learning never stops so stay tuned buckle up and uh hopefully we get some hooting hollering and screaming and uh some high-fiving here we go yeah. so like saddles points all that stuff is gonna be like our main targets Definitely a full figure eight on this lake. Yeah, have a little bit of like almost like a four, like a twenty to thirty degree angle on that. There you go, because like when they eat that thing, dude, like yeah. usually it's like crazy. And you got that way you can just instantly like wind and once you feel the pressure of the fish on the hooks you could just turn your body and then once it really loads up Trev, like you have to set the hook that's what i learned bro it's not like bass where they have a gummy mouth right. and, you, and you get you gotta pull kind of, you have to freak once they have it you have to swing it's, like that's why in that video you can hear me go i got you sucker and i'm like bam 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 like a triple hook set on them <laughs> He's making sure it's in there. Yeah, because th those hooks are huge, man. Those barbs are big. Yeah, and it's not piercing through a small right. layer of cartilage to get through the mouth. Yeah, they have a, such a big bony mouth. Dude, this thing looks sick in here. Oh, okay. I always turn them on in like background noise, you know what I mean? In the garage, I got a right. TV, so when I'm messing with the boat and doing things, it's always on, it's always playing, but like actually sitting down and dissecting them, I just don't have the time in the summer, you know? Totally. 
But, uh, you know, I'll be out there working in the garage and my wife's coming to watch him. And it's, it's Every swear, time, yeah, it's with the chicks. It's always, as soon as she walks in, there you are with some girl on the boat. <laughs> and, a, and I'm like, God damn it, man. So, she just, like, totally thinks, like, this is the whole fishing spiel, like. Right? <laughs> That's so funny. Oh yeah, yeah, he wants it. Keep going, there you go. Keep going, brother. Oh, he's fired up. Keep going. Let's keep going. Did it spook? I don't know. I don't see him no more. He was right up. Dude, he was fired up, bro. Yo, we just had a, a low 40s probably come up hot on the figure eight. And then by the time I reached down for the camera, uh, Trevor definitely had at least one pass on it. Here, take that white one. We just do the same thing. Go subsurface. Maybe he'll eat this. Just get it in the water. Go. No, no, no. Just, just figure eight on. Oh. But man, that thing came up freaking hot. Yeah, big sweeps, big ovals, big turns. He came up quick. I thought he oh my god. And then when I got to the back of the boat, he even raised up on it again. Yeah. That was rad. Man, you guys, I don't know if you guys have had the opportunity to do any musky fishing, but like that was exhilarating. Oh man. That was exhilarating. God. Well, they like the bird. Gone. They that like the, the bird. Oh, man. The day. Well, we've only been out here 10 minutes. It's pretty special, man. It's a pretty special place. Was dope. I know, I thought that was it. I honestly thought by the time I reached out for the camera, I was just gonna hear. <laughs> uh, what are you feeling right now, bro? Yeah. Oh man. God. I've been getting a lot of that lately, though. Have you? I've been seeing a lot of fish and they've just been swimming away from me. I'm bound for one, man. But that's musky fishing, you know what I mean? It is a challenge. It is a. That was so dope. I don't know how he didn't want it. He must have saw us. Yeah. I don't know if they're colorblind or not, but you're pretty flamed up, homie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a big stop sign out here. Don't eat me. Uh, don't eat me. All right, guys. So that's a that's a promising start. Uh, first main link point that we hit. It's got one on it. We've, we've successfully raised one. So um, hopefully we can get one to commit. Here we go. hard to know like do you just get wild with it or do you go calm i think you do have to like really Subtle? finesse them into biting because my okay. favorite fish i actually had to like still like coax them well, i just noticed in some of yours you're like <laughs> yeah yeah man like uh like i'm reading the body language of that fish okay right? so as it's closing the gap i'm actually pulling it away from him mm -hmm. I'm, I'm letting him close the gap and then pulling it away from him I'm letting him close the gap pulling it away from him and then eventually dude they just gotta kill him you know, with that bait, the top water, it's hard because you got to keep those wings slapping in that right same rhythm and pace, right? Yeah. That's what makes it difficult. Look how much water it's moving. See all the freaking, mm -hmm. uh, or the wake that it's... Is that two yeah. Yep. They supposedly like smaller baits earlier in the season. That's why so many bass guys catch them incidentally. Yeah. And then as the summer progresses into fall, they start keying in on the big stuff. As a Scott told me that he likes the Vision 110. Yeah, that's his best musky yeah. bait. Told him, I was like, I don't know, and towards the end of the week, you might see me out there with a Vision 110 with some <laughs> nasty hooks on it. Yeah. I got one of those, I actually have a perch colored, uh, one of those Katana things. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, the Kanata might get it done. Because the pike love it. And I proved that in Spain. Oh, oh my God, dude, I just got whacked. Did you see that? Oh, knocked my hand off the handle, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh. 
<laughs> it's getting real. It's getting real, real. I don't think I hit anything. And it felt like it moved. Uh, I might have hit a rock, maybe. That was crazy. It definitely woke me up. Yo. What's up, it's TJ. Came out here, fish for the muskies today. When we pull up two fish, I believe. Yep. Possibly some other bites, possible rocks. Oliver doesn't know. <laughs> hey, we thought it was gonna be a good day, actually. I mean, the weather was good when we first came out here. We had a, a moon window that we yep. pushed for. Uh, like I said, we pulled up the two fish. Fished a lot of points. Shallow flats, I suppose, with the wind. and. Couldn't make it happen today, but that's musky fishing. That's real talk. Anyways, we're, uh, we're gonna pull off. We're gonna actually go relax for a little bit, go grab an early dinner. Our dinner options are pretty limited in this part of the world. So we're actually gonna go in, refill, reset, uh, refocus, and then come back at these muskies hard and fish that evening twilight bite. Seems to be our best window of opportunity in the previous years was the later stuff, so we're gonna shoot for that and go from there. We'll catch you then. It's your boy TJ, Trevor, TJ Tucker 88 on Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Of course, we always like the likes, the shares, the subscribe. We're back out here. Got refreshed, refueled. Hoping to land us a big musky. We've been on the hunt for a few hours today. I've been at it for a little bit this week, but no luck yet, so we're gonna keep it going. We gotta keep it up, man. The grind never stops. Yeah, checking out that new water. Went to a new lake, went to a new spot today, so we're hoping that that uh, a little bit of newness helps us out. Yeah, we've been fishing on the main lake for the whole Pretty much the last years I've been up here, I don't think I've ever been to this side. So we got a little cut comes through the back nook here and opens up to a whole new, what I've heard to be a shallow, weedy, musky breeding ground, we're hoping. What's good, my peoples? Just like my man TJ just said, we are uh, back at it. I wanted to show him this new body of water that's connected to one of the bodies of water he spent a lot of time with me on. Uh, it's a different system, but connected to the same body of water through a channel and another lake. But the water here is darker, there's a lot more vegetation, a uh, little bit different dynamic. So we're hoping we can utilize that to our advantage and fool one of these muskies. He had one come up hot earlier on that topwater bird uh, from Defiant that we've been prototyping. And uh, I'm surprised that thing didn't eat. It was one of those things where I felt like, man, this thing came up so hot and aggressive that by the time I reached down for this camera, like I was just gonna hear and it was just gonna be mayhem. But it didn't unfold that way. Uh, could be a timing thing, so we're hitting it now. Low light window, we got some wind, we got some condition, and uh, we got good vibes. A nice dinner, uh, recharged, and my man is back at it. So, chasing big musky dreams. powerful enough to either you know pop your hooks or just rip through three to the hooks or whatever right. but if you can control them and get them coming just like the big large mouth yeah like they're kicking but as long as you have their head pointed towards you they're kicking towards you mm -hmm. same thing as the blue fit then push yeah they're coming right to you at that point where you get in trouble is when they turn now they got enough power and leverage to break or just come off and that's what happened that thing was for a big fish, dude. Yeah. Yeah, check it out. Ah. Oh, hopefully you guys got a glimpse of homie. Little baby Justin. Little baby Justin Bieber. Hanging out on top. Just asking to get mugged by a 50 incher. No kidding. Anyways, just wanted to share that with you guys. Thanks, Mike.
That's fucking sick. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's incredible. Even just showing that to your video your audience. Well, at right? first when I seen it, I was like, dude, what's that move? Then I stopped and I seen it stop. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> is that is that me or is that him stopping because I stopped? Man, what an evening. Check out the sunset behind us. Look at our surroundings, man. Fishing for giant muskies in the north woods of Wisconsin is a pretty special experience, and I hope you guys as the audience enjoy it and appreciate it. Uh, we've had a pretty long day. We did have a couple opportunities, a couple early ones. TJ raised a really nice fish, uh, came up hot to react the way we needed it to and eat the, eat the hooks. And then I raised another one, and then we came out here on the PM session. I had a small muskie or a medium-sized pike swipe at the 210, ripping it around the grass. Um, but we're gonna call it, man. It's uh, this is muskie fishing. This is real. I mean, this is part of the struggle. This is what makes these fish special, man. So, anyways, appreciate you guys tuning in to us here at the Big Bass Dreams channel. Thanks for uh, following our big muskie dream series, but. Uh, don't get it twisted. There will be more mus musky catches on the way. So uh, make sure you guys subscribe to this man right here, TJ Tucker. So why don't you close this out, homie? <laughs> he oh, does. put me on the spot. I don't yeah. know what to say. I'm trying to catch a fish, it ain't happening. On a serious note though, we have we worked hard today. This is musky fishing, man. It's a grind all the way around. You just, there's nothing easy about these fish and that's what makes it so special when you do catch one. And that's what keeps me coming back trying to get one i mean i've seen them i know the potential of the fish that's out here we we're just speaking of the small windows that they're available and you got to be ready and have all your stuff together when that time comes because if you miss it yeah it's going to be at least 24 hours for that circles back around so <laughs> stay with us we're going to make it happen appreciate you guys oh he's got, got, it. got it on the figure eight here we go, here we go. Oh! oh.